for structured way of representation example it is insulin pump control software SRS system requirement specification then version it is being given here okay. then what function it is compute insulin dose this is a function for what safe sugar level description is compute the dose of insulin to be delivered when the current measured sugar level is in the safe zone between 3 and 7 units if it is going to be there accepted if it is more than that less than that conditions are going to be applied like this inputs are current sugar reading first you should take previous two readings that you should consider finally the sugar level is going to be checked current sugar reading from the sensor that you should take other readings also from the memory that you should consider. Output is properly that should compute the dose and it should be delivered. Loop completes. Okay, main control. So here the proper information is going to be there in this. Okay, what you should do, what this function should do, everything will be mentioned. After mentioning this one, the there is no um, any flaws in this. So the programmer can write or the developer can write the program for this particular function. Okay, like this specifications are going to be written. Form based specification. This is another example of that. Okay. The action is going to be taken for that. Okay. So here destination is mere control. Then action for that is okay. If the compute dose is zero, the sugar level is stable or failing or if the level is increasing but the rate of increase is going to be uh, is decreasing. Okay. If the level is increasing, so you should make it uh, rate of increasing how much that percentage is increasing that you should kind of count it. Okay. Then compute dose is going to compute it with the dividing the differences between the two things and finally it is going to make some compositions in that and it is going to be given the action is going to be taken finally okay, how much dosage is going to be given if it is increased or if it is decreased okay so level is going to be that is going to be checked okay then recommends is two previous readings for the rate of change of sugar levels for the computation that is required. Precondition is that the insulin reservoir contains at least a maximum allowed single dose of insulin. Any moment, this is a critical situation will be there. That time, minimum that much maximum allowed is single dose of insulin. Minimum 10 milligrams as per the previous requirements, it must be there in that. This is a precondition. Post condition is based on the inputs so replaces the values okay uh, r0 with r1 and r1 with r2 that it is going to be replaced and uh, calculations is going to be done like that. side effects if it is going to be there it is none so these are the specifications based on the structured specification means the information is very clear in this there is no doubt in that so like that if the information is going to be there so you can able to write the programs very easily there is no confidence in that okay and the way of uh, specifying this is tabular column is there okay so how we are going to use this here is the example the same example it continues here also okay. tabulation the condition and action now you see that here sugar level falling r2 is less than r1 it is zero sugar level stable if it is both are equal that also composition is going to be zero then sugar level increasing and the rate of increasing increase describing okay decreasing it is going to be, okay what happens r2 minus r1 and uh, if it is less than r1 minus r0 if it is going to be sugar level increasing and 
rate of increase decreasing means how much it is making that differences that time it is level is maintained means it is less only if it is going to be less then computation dose is going to be zero if it is reverse okay r2 minus r1 is greater than or equal to r1 minus zero previous one minus the current one okay so if it is going to be greater then sugar level increasing so rate of change of increase stable is stable or it is increasing that you should check if it is going to be increasing it should decrease okay compost dose is round round of r2 minus r1 by 4 if rounded result is going to be zero then compost is maximum minimum dose so conditions are going to get applied here if these things are going to be met then the execution is going to be done properly so tabulation also you can able to give by the way that um, form based also you can able to give that even some cases use cases are also going to be used here use cases are going to be used here you see that use case element case system it is going to be there is a medical receptionist is there where not you can be get connected medical receptionist you can be connected with the register patient with the patient information with the personal information okay then the manager he can interact with personal information also then he can able to interact with expert export statistics generate the reports manager can do it even the doctor even the doctor he can generate the reports generate the reports he can make it we can view the report edit the report okay set up the conclusion all these things the doctor can do it then we have this nurse he can able to view the record and edit the records based on the doctor's prescription that he can able to make it he can able to make it so uh, here it is going to be very specific in this who is having what exactly that his role so that is being specified based on this also you can able to write the application now requirement software requirement document s is sr s okay. srd it is going to be so software requirements documentation that it is so here the documentation is official statement it is going to be so it cannot be changed the requirements not be changed by the developer and it should be considered it should be both the definition of the user requirements and the specification of the system requirements are going to be present in that and uh, one more thing is that it is not a design document it is a requirements document it is it is not design uh, and uh, what exactly should be done rather than how it should be done what you should do that it is going to tell how you should do it is not going to tell you anything about that okay because this is the this is what it is a requirement from my side that is required how you will going to do what you will going to do that is not going to tell how is that it is going to be the requirements is the requirements document is system customers managers okay their, their requirements it is going to be system customers requirement is specify the requirements and read them to check that they meet their needs customers specify changes to the requirements so what happens basically is uh, requirements are going to be comes from the customers as well as the systems so you should understand what exactly that is required okay Man from the manager's side they use the requirements document to plan a bit for the system and to plan the system development process so what will be the cost of this project so managers is going to take place that so their requirements are going to be based on the system customers the system engineers they also going to use this requirements document use the requirements to understand what system has to be developed which system has to be developed what is the uh, 
uh, outcome of that particular product. So the system 